The European currencies changed direction as expected. Traders resumed buying the US dollar amid disappointing data on the eurozone inflation and higher business activity in the US manufacturing sector. Let's try to identify the prevailing sentiment in the market today. The Eurozone producer price figures significantly exceeded the forecast, thus the indicator dropped by 3.3% after a decline of 37 in the previous period. Economists had expected a decrease of 3.4%. On a monthly basis, producer prices advanced by 0.6%, beating the forecast of a 0.3% rise. Taking into account that the producer price index is one of the leading indicators of inflation, such positive data may signal a short-lived deflation. It's a highly possible that next month's consumer prices will resume rising, whereas inflation may reach at least the zero level. That's why the US dollar stopped its rally that began just after the publication of the Eurozone inflation report. However, it does not mean that the European currencies will immediately resume gaining in value. The fact is that today the US will disclose ADP non-farm employment data. Analysts expect a jump of 950,000 jobs. If the real data meets the forecast, it will point to the fact that the US labor market is recovering with a renewed figure. In other words, uh, the US economy feels um, well and it will soon re recover from the consequences of the coronavirus epidemic. Notably, the ADP data is usually followed by a report prepared by the US Labor Department. Thus, the report is likely to be positive after strong employment figures. That's why the US dollar has all chances to resume rising after a small pause. The euro dollar pair found resistance at the psychological level of 1.20, where, as usual, it slowed down and reversed. As we can see on the chart, the pair dropped to the level of 1.1850, where it may stop and start rising to the levels of 1.19 and 1.1580 amid high speculative activity. Short deals could be initiated from the level of 1.1845 with a target at 1.1800. The pound-dollar pair almost hit the local high of 1.3513 locked on December 13, 2019. However, most traders had decided to close the long positions before the price reached the control level. This resulted in a decline. According to the chart, the pair lost over 150 pips. The level of 1.33 may act as a support. Sell deals could be opened if the price fixes below 1.33. In this case, the pair will hardly get stuck and rebound from the mentioned level. In fact, everything depends on speculators' auctions near the levels of 1.33 and 33.50. There are two possible scenarios. Thus, the pound dollar pair may either start advancing within the range of the week of continual losing ground. That's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and keep abreast on latest events with us. See you in a couple of hours on our channel with a new video.